another edition of the AK Option Trader. And it has been an interesting week. It was a good week for me. Played a lot of downs. Uh, faded that rally every time. But uh, now I think things are starting to change. I think the movement we saw on Friday was the beginning. Not the bottom, but the beginning of a formation of a bottom. Um, what that means is I don't think we're done going down. I think uh, we're going to see a lot of up and down this next month. I think it's going to be extremely volatile. Um, I think it's going to be a hard time finding a direction. I still believe we're going to have a retracement up maybe 50% from where we are now from this biggest fall. Maybe up towards 10000 before we get another drop. That's just my thought. Um, but anyway, it has forced me to stop back and take a look long term. And when I mean long term, I mean all term. I mean ALL all the way back. So look at these big charts. Uh, let's start out with the Dow right here. Here's a Dow ticker symbol INDU. This is Dow. This is all. This is 77 right here. 1977. All the way up here. Um, you can see we still got some support right in here. Um, what the 7500 line uh, right in there. I'm going to go ahead and put on some fit. It's about to get real messy because I've been doing a lot of work on this. So let's go ahead and put some uh, stuff on the chart here. All right, yeah, I know, you're like, yeah. But what I want to show you is, I went ahead and did fit all the way back right at the very beginning of time. Well, uh, darn near the beginning of time to show you where we're at, just to show you a few interesting things here. Um, you can see there's support here, 100% line at, uh, this is going to be at, uh, what's that number? End at 14, da, da, oh, I'm on the fan, that's why. <laughs> it's 71.70. So start at 71.70. So somewhere there's some support there. I also see that there's support at 7,500. If we go all the way back, looking at the back time, um, there's some support back there in the, on the red ones here. These red lines are from way back. Way back. As you can see here, and that's at 75.15. So, and I like this one because it hits right here where it bounced off of in history. And then it hit here. And I really think it will offer some support uh, in the near term future. So, Dow 7,500 at the most. I'm going to go ahead and pause because the phone is ringing. All right. Sorry about that. Um, where were we talking about the Dow? Yada, yada, yada. I don't remember. Anyway, I wanted to zoom in on here a little bit and just show you a couple of neat little things. I like how this, uh, you can't see it because the red line keeps going down here, but this hit this fan line, 84.51, and bounced right back up on here. We're kind of on a monthly, and I was wanting to look at the, the Ds. It shows it a little bit better if we go on a daily, a daily, a daily. It's going to take a while to uh, generate it for some reason. My computer's really slow tonight, which makes it really fun for you guys. All right, so you can see how crazy it is here. How much it looks. Okay, so... Or into the daily area here. Anyway, so I like red. I like the 7,500. Next is the 7,000, obviously. So uh, if we do go down, I don't think we will. I think we're going to have a bounce. The uh, European futures are up right now. Things are kind of looking better. I like how it hit this fan line. Um, it's slowing down. Just dropped like a rock through here. So I am looking for my retracement would be up to the 50% level. So somewhere up in right in here. Um, 10,700. Uh, I, I think we're going to hit a psychological wall though before we get there, before we get to 10,000. Okay. So, I got to hurry up. Running out. Let's go ahead and look at the S&P. Come on, baby. Don't get the double clicker, so now we got to wait extra time. Good move by me. Um, s and I'm going to go ahead and look at the same way. I'm going to look at all, and I'm going to look at the daily, the D, and uh, see where at. Man, I apologize for the slowness of my computer right now. Alright, same thing on uh, S&P. Look at, look at this beautiful dull top. Look where we're at now. Um, I mean, the next bottom is going to be right in here somewhere, which is 770, you know, somewhere in that area. But look at that hit. I mean, it is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful maxims. So, uh, you know, it's just a fib line. It's an imaginary line, but, but I just, I don't know. It doesn't seem like coincidence. It's a 50% retracement. Uh, and I've been happier if it ended up right in here, if the fib line was right there, to be honest with you, at 800. I, I think it would be terribly strong. Still, to hit the 50% and kind of stall out. I think that's good. Uh, the market we're in right now is in a normal market, though. So, that being said, what do we do with it? Well, I don't know. I'm just showing you what I see. You do what you think is right. I'm going to do what I think is right. I think we're in a bounce. And, uh, like I said, 50% retracement. And here we got the NASDAQ. And this thing's amazing with the tech bubble and all that fun stuff. Um, I got double fibs. I got the fan and the regular fibs on here. And you can see 
Uh, we still have a little room to drop in this one. There's really not a lot of room here. We did hit this fib. We did break it on the fan. I like how it kind of stayed in here. Worked it pretty good. So it stays within a percentage. Of it. Let's see if I can zoom in on here a little bit. Let's see where we're at here. See, it broke it just barely, but uh, still, it offered pretty decent support. I mean, it's close. It hit here, it broke here, it came back here. Um, so, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if we see a bounce on that. That being said, let's go ahead and talk about a couple individual stocks. I went ahead and added a page called the um, uh, my watch list pages. Now, right now, I would be extremely cautious. As I wrote in the blog, the, um, the spreads, the option spreads are just nuts. So I'm probably going to stick with playing. I'm going to play uh, a lot of indices, just the Qs, um, diamonds, other stuff like that, just because the uh, bid-ask prices aren't so tough to play right now. That's me. Anyway, let's go with SSD. Let's go with a little megaphone pattern. You know how like we watch that megaphone pattern. JPM worked up good. It's right in the middle, by the way, and JPM should have another move down. Anyway, look at this bad boy here. Getting off. Look at this beautiful candle right here. Big bullish pattern coming up. The only thing I don't like is we're going to have to blast through this 200 moving average, but look. Going up, no problem. Coming down, no problem. So, um, it wouldn't surprise me last to there. I'd be looking for a nice, decent up move here. Here's a bullish engulfing pattern. you got to love that. So, SSD is one. Oh, let's look at another one. This is Ice Ice Baby. Ice Ice Baby. The reason I like this, look at this support down there. Look at this 60. That is a line in the sand, people. That is concrete. Iron Man could must be a bad boy. So, there's 60 hitting there and just hit off of that going up. It's not going to go very high, though, is it? Um, it's going to be up here in the 85 range, but still, I mean, we're at 74. That's 10 bucks. We can play that up. We can play that up. So watch for this thing to bounce. All the indicators are still down. I don't like that, so I'll probably wait for a confirmation. Wouldn't be surprised to see a little red candle here and then before it starts moving up. So I wouldn't jump in that right away. I didn't look at the option prices on that one, so, um, you know, check that out before you get into anything. Another one, I really like this, uh, the way this is setting up. This is a PLCE. This is Children's Place. Um, reason I like it, well, I like it because it's come down, it's retraced all the way down to its 50% fib, which is my favorite fib, and it's also retraced to a uptrend line, and it also retraced to a 200 moving average line. I mean, that's a trip threat right there. Look at that. So we saw fibs. Here's the 200 moving average. Here's the uh, the uptrend. I really think this is going to bounce. It's going to take a strong move for this thing to drop below. Again, I would wait for confirmation. You got a little bullish handle there. But I think this sucker is going to move up, and I wouldn't be surprised to see it up in this area here. I wouldn't even be, see it surprise up to about 40 bucks to fill that gap up there So before it drops back down again. So that's one to keep an eye on, and uh, make sure, like I said, look at the uh, option prices before you do that. Uh, let's look at one more. Let's look at one more here. I've got all these on my, uh, I put another page, another reason I moved the blog, I put another page on the on this so you can go and see what watch list things I'm watching and I can go back and look myself so anyway this is Casey K C A S Y Casey General Store um, I put this on here for one simple reason I just like how it's on the 200 average I like how it up it's hit it I'm gonna see what it does with this 200 if it hits it two or three times see like it did here before it busted through I'm gonna look if it stays beneath I'm gonna be looking for it to drop off of that so um, just just a simple stupid little play just one of those things I like I like how the indicators are really down um, the histogram still down so I'll be looking to maybe fade this and see if I can't drop get it back down here to a 23 22 dollar level somewhere in there and then uh, watch it head back up and try to bust through this 200 moving average anyway um, that's all I have for you today I'm gonna pop in here I'm going home, but to the place